Now I've opened this RAW file up in Photoshop CS4. Um, it's an architectural shot and as the shot wasn't taken with the tilt and shift lens, it was just taken with a wide angle, then I had to pull back and tip the camera up to make sure I got the top of the building in frame. As a result of this, the converging verticals, the lines down the edge of the buildings here, taper into the sky as though it's um, a rocket shape. Um, and it's not a good way of looking at an architectural shot because it's inaccurate effectively. So this can be corrected on Photoshop. I'll do Command A to select everything. Edit, Transform, Distort. And I'll pull out the sides of the frame to try and make sure that I can level up these edges of the building with the edges of the frame on either side. Nearly there. Just minimise that slightly so I can have a better look. Yeah, I thought it's just slipped out at the bottom here for some reason. So it doesn't need to go in that far. Now it's up to you how you choose to do it in terms of whether you uh, want to do it very accurately or just try and um, make sure that it looks visually correct and I'll try and do something in between normally. So I'll hit enter, it will just transform the image to confirm what I've done in terms of bending out the sides and you can see that one of the problems when this is done is that it makes the actual image look a bit stumpy. So again I'll do command A to select everything go back into edit, transform and distort. And I just want to stretch out the image so it looks um, well it looks how it does look as opposed to uh, stumpy uh, which was caused by pulling out the sides. Now, I've just pulled out the left and right as well because I don't want to see the edges of those buildings just tidying up the image. So yeah I'm pretty ha happy with that. It's always worth um, I'll double click to, com to confirm it but I'll, it's always worth going on a little bit closer and having um, a look around the frame just to make sure that uh, cars aren't too distorted, there's nothing too obviously distorted there. It's normally quite easy to see in the people. This guy here, just make sure you can see that. I think this guy here does look a little bit distorted still so I might just um, pull out the bottom of the frame a little bit more just so I'm happy with it. Back to edit, transform, distort, and I'll just pull this down slightly. So yeah, there you go, pretty happy with that. I've processed this file in the uh, raw processor, then taken it into Photoshop, and with a simple transform tool, I've pulled out the left and right hand sides to stop the converging verticals, and created a picture that's much more acceptable as an architectural image.